Doomsday prepper tip is uh, pine cones. Make a lot of noise. So, don't step on pine cones. It's a kind of fun little game. Like you got kids that you're taking out into the woods to freeze to death because you think you can uh, evade mandatory evacuation. <clears throat> it's a fun little game, but there's tell you know. Try not to step on the pine cones. It's like a little maze. Sounds like somebody's got a generator going or something. Got some fellow preppers living next door to us. Interesting. So according to what I've heard from several sources, uh, they cannot force you out of your home. <clears throat> Even during a mandatory evacuation, they can't force you out of your house. Now, from what I read, you know, for what it's worth on Google, um, from what I read on the Google, uh, it is a misdemeanor to not obey their little orders, but, you know, whatever. Look at all the frosting on this little, I'm gonna call it a mountain this time, this little mountain here. Isn't that pretty? Like, freezing out here though. It's been that way all day, it's just cold and calm. And collected, kinda like me. Cool, calm, and collected operator, that's me. Yeah, so you'd think that some of that uh, frosting on the cake <laughs> over there <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it frosting you think that would uh, deter the fire a little bit right like I think it would you know because it's kind of hard to burn ice I don't know <clears throat> in any case I'm still up here it's freezing got my little hoodie on should be walking around like this though, because my little ear balls are about to fall off. There we go. That looks more appropriate, right? Yeah. Let's get some. Let's get some. Gotta say it like that. Well, I can just I just smell some fire. Get a little whiff now and then. Thought I heard something. 
Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Just heard a noise, so I'm trying to be stealthy. Screw it, I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh, screw this place, man. There's freaking zombies out here. Freaking. Alright, so the latest update is. Let me get in character. Latest update is we have a few subordinates on our hands. <sighs> a few members of the colony don't want to follow the orders of the captain and, you know, go down with the ship, so. <sighs> I think the uh, stress of being alone in a abandoned mountain town full of roving zombie hordes and, uh, You know, every other nightmarish creature that the unconscious mind can imagine. It's starting to get people. There's more vehicles on this road than I've seen before. There's a lot of uh, power. <sighs> Electric company, trucks, and uh, I saw one backhoe, so. Don't misquote me on that. But, uh, yeah, so the stress is uh, getting to some people and uh, they're starting to get a little testy. And uh, you know, it's a fine line between <clears throat> being a team player and uh, threatening the whole safety and security of the team, right? So this colony is teetering on the edge of collapse now. It's like a metaphor for the rest of society as a whole right now in this country, right? We're all just kind of teetering on the edge of complete and total losing our shit, basically. And uh, I think it just takes one little snafu, one little stressful event to make people crack at this point. And you know, me as a researcher and a uh, citizen journalist and a artist and podcast host extraordinaire, it's kind of an interesting, exciting little thought experiment, psychological test, right? How long will it take until people begin to break? I don't know why I'm rhyming so much lately, but it's really sounding good, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not even trying at this point. It's just, it's coming out. It's natural, I guess. I finally found my natural state, I guess. So yeah, that's the uh, latest from the the holdouts here at the compound. Mrs. Park, police state, martial law, mandatory evacuation zone. Keep in touch because uh, it's just, can't make this stuff up. I mean, just, the story keeps evolving and it's, it's dynamic and I can't even keep tabs on it, you know, as much as I have it all together right now. It's like, I can't even keep up with the changing storyline, evolving plot. Where's my, where's my camera going here? I think it's got a mind of its own. Why don't you want to look at me anymore? Well, it's latest from the 
Yes, it's Park. Troublesome Flyer Apocalypse. Thanks for tuning in. It'll just keep getting more interesting on it. Check this out, everybody. I found a, another good use for those worthless COVID masks. So this door um, locks itself when you leave, right? It was designed with an apocalyptic scenario in mind. And so every time I want to go out, right? I just want to go for a little stroll, you know, like <clears throat> get a little fresh air because I can't You know, to help the lungs. You gotta work the lungs. Otherwise, it'll stop working. So, yeah. Big old stack of COVID masks. Check this out. I step outside. I look around a little bit first. I don't know what the hell is going on out here anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, watch this. Yeah. So, so. Look at that. Right? Who would have thunk all those little baby diapers might come in handy? Anyway, that's what I'm here for. Prepper tips. It's really cold out. Be back in a bit. Oh, you know, it could burn things up pretty fast. They never put this fire out. <laughs> the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Especially a spot when it spots. Yep. So it went around uh, Grand Lake there, right? Mm hmm Yeah, it's the same. I mean, there's nothing to really burn. There goes another white truck. These guys are all over the place. You know, like, in the perimeter of town, there's not, like, a thick forest. Like, the Estes Park Valley is just a big meadow. Smoke would be pretty hellacious, though. Don't you think? I don't know where I've read it. It's, I've, yeah, I have no idea. What? About when the, where the, it, it said I had road lines and everything mandatory beyond, past this or before that, and that was all it was telling us. And the east and west line is McGregor Avenue. So we are in the mandatory area. And east of McGregor is was the other side and maybe it was on my iPad. That's where it was. How do you even train you like Update that? October this is from ten forty three AM today. Evacuation still enforced in Estes Park. Yeah. The mandatory ones. Yeah. I would say so. This this was at eleven o'clock this morning. It says if you were in the area in Estes Park, please do not stay. With limited okay. Look at this little volume. Return in. or oh. have stayed in the voluntary back area in Estes Park. Please do not stay. You just fed this giant fat bowl a big old pizza. Apple. He's trying to pull the whole thing in there. Look at that. He just told, he just took that whole chunk of apple. In his hole? Yeah. <laughs> These little critters are everywhere, man. Did you see what the yard looks like out here? Nasty. What does it look like, Nate? Well, look. There's holes everywhere. Oh, yeah, all the holes here. Yeah. You know, there's like this eerie calm right now. You know, the typical calm before the storm. Just sitting in here. <sighs> Getting ready to render my next video. And, uh, Got a video airs tonight, by the way. Eight o'clock. I start calling it Night Watch Nate at Eight. Just to 
try to be consistent. The problem is I'm not very consistent. and I'll probably fail time and time again, but uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, it's just been this uh, calm, it's like perfectly still outside. And uh, it's like this anticipation for what's coming, which is predicted to be up to 60 mile per hour winds headed straight our direction in line with the fire. That's only 5% contained at this point. And it's a monster. It's a beast. It's not pretty. So, uh, but yeah, even outside, it's just like completely still. It's been that way all day. And there's still steel if you can uh, see up on the hillside. Those very top trees, there's still pretty little sprinkling of frost. Kind of looks like a big frosted muffin, doesn't it? <laughs> a little uncouth. Does not look like a frosted muffin. <laughs> Do they even frost muffins? I mean the first thing that came to my mind is frosting and then it's like well the it kind of looks like a muffin I guess. Is that a thing? Somebody tell me. I don't know. Do they frost muffins? <laughs> anyway uh uh yeah, so I'm just chilling, you know, taking it easy, waiting for the weather to change. But a few in our camp here, you know, the little colony we got here, there's always a battle, isn't it, between egos and different opinions and different pain thresholds and difference between the sexes, you know, male and female. Can I still say that? I think so. I think, I don't know, I'll have to check out a anatomy book, but so we're still trying to get things together, get our minds collected, what's left of our marbles in the same marble jar. Now I'm still doing some pretty impressive crayon drawings if you want to see. Might have to start like a different page, gallery, Night Watch Nate. That's what I did in my previous life, by the way. I was a painter, visual artist, traditional, old school, like dark age methods of brush and paint on paper. And I realized, you know what, old old man, you better get with the times because nobody's looking at paintings anymore, right? And like, who goes to galleries anymore? Record low attendance. And a lot of these modern art galleries, in large part, because modern art's garbage, but whatever. Um, side note, plan. I'm laying it out, getting it together, and we'll go from there. I don't know, like... It's not like a strike and a pose or what. Should be on my. Should be my new. Should be my new title page, pick right here. Looking all noble, like looking up. And the speckling on the ceiling for some reason. I don't know why. All right. I think I just heard. There's still life out there. I think I heard a vehicle. I didn't even know there's enough gasoline left to go around. That's interesting. Interesting development. So we are not alone. 
We still have company. There's still a few holdouts up here. Assuming zombies haven't learned how to drive cars, but I don't think they passed the uh, driver's license test on that one. They're not too bright. <sighs> I'm going to call it. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the views and the, had some fun on the comment section last night with all these people. And uh, they're all good people. You're all good people. Thanks for watching. I'm just trying to have fun, make light of a dark situation. You know, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm here for. So for all those people that are mentally losing their SHIT right now, I'm with you. And so am I. I've already lost it. Probably it's not even there. I think I flushed it down the toilet. Thanks for watching. Get back to you soon. Adios.